people are unhappy in your life. I think it would serve you better not to focus upon what makes you unhappy, but to focus upon what is within your power, your means you can do to put yourself on the road towards happiness. Maybe possible that you're the person that cannot even attain happiness because they're unwilling to attain it, because they're unwilling to forsake their unhappiness. You have to detach yourself from your unhappiness first before you can attain your happiness. I am not unhappy have a greater ambition. It's a slow, beautiful, frustrating process. Self-growing process. Year after year, getting a little bit wiser. The only way to attain that wisdom for me anyways was to be unwise and to make observations of how my unwiseness Led to trouble or consequences. There's got to be a better way to learn. Surely, by some other means, could you attain this wisdom other than through self-destruction? I'm not. I'm like way, way less self-destructive than I was back when I was un self-loving person, but it's hard to be a totally self-loving person in today's world. There's fast food joints on every corner. Cigarettes leave so much tension. It's just so many temptations to lead you off the path of self-love. Self-love is Take your time out of every day to express yourself as a creative human being in some way or form. Do not let that part of yourself die. If you do, it's not self-love. You can take good care. Take care of yourself in every way you can imagine. If you let that part of you die, then you're not self-loving. At the same time, you can't forsake all the other aspects of health to maintain that. There's got to be a way to have both. I'm just working on finding it. Alright everybody, hope you have a great weekend.